How's it going, Dopamon fans? We are back with another scouting report for the NHL 2021 Entry Draft. If you've been following along, you know we're talking about the top 31 skaters in the Russian system. Today, we've got to number 5. That's right, we're in our top 5, Fyodor Svechkov. He's a center, plays for Ladia Togliati in the VHL, though he did close out his season down in the MHL when uh, the VHL season finished. He stands 6 feet tall and weighs in 179 pounds. I'm also going to talk about the Elite Prospects article written about him at the end of the video. What stands out immediately about him is the way he uses his speed defensively. He's got a really strong lower body, and that equates to explosive acceleration and turning, which he uses to get out of the defensive zone really quickly with the puck. This makes him able to finish checks at the VHL level against men who are bigger than him, and also win battles along the boards, which is really important for a two-way forward like him. He really knows how to use his body to fight for positioning. And he doesn't just defend with his speed. He likes to watch the play develop to put himself in a position to be first on the puck, or be the one to physically pressure the opposing puck carrier. He really shines in the neutral zone this way and creates a lot of turnovers. The one area he does lack defensively is on the cycle. He's really good at watching the play develop and sticking to his check, but at the VHL, where plays are executed so quickly, he's sometimes just like a half step behind. I think this really shows his defensive commitment, but that he still needs to read the play a bit quicker. You know, this is defense, which is a lot harder than offense, but I think this uh, uh, that really leads nicely into the Elite Prospects article that kind of calls him the, uh, the best defensive forward. I don't want to give too much away about the article, but they break his defense into two. His ability to break out, which I completely agree with, but then his patience in the defensive zone and ability to provide like excellent defensive coverage, which I don't completely agree with. They're absolutely right when they talk about his patience in regards to cheating. There is no cheating in his game. He waits for uh, his team to get possession of the puck. But when they talk about his play in the defensive zone, they credit him for attaching himself to his check, keeping his blade on the ice to deny space and passing lanes, and keeping his head on a swivel to track both his opponent and the puck, which, in my opinion, is actually one of his weakest defensive qualities. The rest of the article talks about his passing and his skating, which I completely agree with, though they seem to leave out that his passing is really the extent of his offensive skills. Uh, outside of that, he's really not known for much else, and he's not going to put up a lot of points at the NHL level. So for those reasons, I might agree that Svechkov is the best uh, defensive forward in this draft, though I think that title is very misleading. I think that Overall, he's the best of the defensively minded forwards, but of all the forwards, he's not the best defensively. I think there are other forwards that are a little bit better in their own zone, while uh, Svechkov's a lot better on the breakout. The best example I could give is Dmitry Zugan. We do have a scouting video on him, go check him out, who I do think is better defensively than Svechkov. So I'm going to rank him 35th overall. I've seen some scouts putting him around there. That's where I think he's going to go probably in the draft. I see a lot of potential here, though because he hasn't reached that potential, particularly offensively, I don't think he's going to get drafted in the first round. I know Elite Prospects put him, has him at 17. I think that's a little bit crazy, a little bit high. Uh, there's just too many holes in his game, even though the potential is there. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know down below what you guys think and how he compares to the other two-way uh, two forwards in this draft. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can catch our next scouting report.